Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, we are going to learn about a new feature that Salesforce has given us in the summer 22 release and that is about name credentials. So if you're working on name credentials or if you're learning how to use name credential and external credential, then this video is very important for you. Now let's dive straight into our org. I have two orgs here in front of me. Uh, this one that you can see, uh, that is a previous org, the previous one uh, without the summer 23 updates and this one right here is with the summer 23 updates okay so first i'll show you uh, what was the difference before and what has changed in the summer 23 so first of all uh, for name credentials and external credentials we need a permission set so let's create that one quickly let's click on new and let's name it summer update okay and let's just save it quickly now let's see how we were assigning the permission set to the external credential uh, before summer 23 release uh, let's go to name credential click on the external credential and let's try creating a new one let's name it test credential and here as well for auth let's choose custom and save it once you save the external credential you will be redirected to the detail page of the credential okay here if we will scroll down a little bit uh, you can see permission set mappings okay so here we map our permission set that we have created before uh, let's click on the new button and here we are supposed to select the permission set that we have created this one name credential summer update and that is it we don't have to add the authentication parameter and let's click on save so with that we have mapped our permission set uh, with the external credential that we have created right uh, that was how we used to do it before summer 23 release but now in summer 23 uh, some things have changed let's create a permission set here as well Let's click on the new button and let's name it the same as that one. Names credential permission set and that is let's save it. Okay and now let's go back to name credential and create a new external credential. Um, external and let's create a new one. Yes, summer update let's name it okay so this process is same till now let's choose custom and let's choose save uh, after that you are redirected to the uh, details page of the external credential that is same as well but let's see let's scroll down and here you see we don't have permission set mapping section Instead, we have a new section which is principles. Uh, let's go here and here you will see there is no principal section. So that is the new section that uh, Salesforce has given us in the uh, summer 23 update. So now uh, the process is a little bit different. What we need to do is we need to create a principal first. Uh, let's name it summer principal. Okay. And here also we don't uh, really have to add any authentication parameter we just can directly save it okay so the process is a little bit different in a previous uh before summer 23 updates uh what we were doing is we were directly selecting the permission set to map okay but here we have created a principle but uh we haven't chosen the permission set that we have created okay so how we will do that we will just go to the permission set once again and select our permission set this was it and in the details page of the permission set you will see now you have a new option which is external credential principal access okay so now we will click on this and from here we will choose the principle of that external credential that we want to map with this permission set okay uh, let's click on add it And from here, 
this is the one that we have created that was the first one that i have created for trying this example or this update or uh, this is the one that we have created just now we will just add it it came here and click on save and when you click on save and now your permission set is a uh, map to the principle that is there in the external credential okay so the meaning is same the purpose is same just the steps are little different uh, so if you are working with name credential or external credential you have to know the uh, new rules and the new uh, process of doing it otherwise uh, you will be stuck with searching for the permission set mapping section that you will never find in the summer 23 release so that was the quick update that salesforce has given us for the external credential that the process is little different um for me personally i don't see any benefit of changing this uh permission set mapping to principle but let's see maybe there's a security uh, concern or something else or just they wanted to change the process i'm not sure about that and uh that was it that was today's example in my previous video which was a http callout using get method i have used both name credential and external credential so uh, for that also if you are doing that example in summer 23 release you have to learn how to use the permission mapping and how to uh, create a principle for the permission mapping in the summer 23 uh, release or okay so that was it that was today's example i hope you found this useful and if you want to try out the previous example that i have used uh, with the http callout get method i'll just link it out below as well and link it here and you can try it out in your summer 23 or with the new process that uh, Salesforce has given us. Okay, I'll see you super soon in my next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care and keep learning.